lives and breathes on the canvas, giving these works their own dynamic, accentuating different elements of a multi-layered narrative. Many, many of these impressionistic works feature familiar scenes, which you would know from around Dublin and the west of Ireland, I think, while they're also transforming the visual landscape and capturing moments in time to give us Jared's vision. These are affecting pieces with a broad sensitivity, playing with light and color. They offer much room for the imagination, generating the visual perspectives that penetrate the unconscious memory of the observer. Certain works produce an immediate echo through their presence, while others induce a more complex resonance. We come to see them with extra clarity through more gradual and repetitive absorption. Preserved <coughs> paintings fulfill all these criteria marrying together a new sensibility with form, texture, and light, while he's not still been adverse to taking risks. They will definitely reward repeated viewing. I've attempted in these few short words to convey what makes these works special, but the evidence is here on these walls. Although I hope they won't be there for long, they are, after all, for sale. I commend these works to you, and I am delighted to declare the exhibition of them. Firstly, many thanks to Tony for opening my exhibition at those kind words. Um, I'd like to add a few words that were very eloquent and descriptive. And uh, I feel very humbled again to listen to your way of describing. And I'd like to say thank Tony for his continued support all over the years. Uh, I'd also like to thank everybody for coming here today, and you're all very welcome. And it means an awful lot to me having people support me 